here at eFix, we absolutely love a product that makes electricians' lives easier, and I believe that I'm holding in my hand here something that's going to do just that. So this is the rapid sliding wall bracket from Wall Raven. What's the thinking behind this, Gaz? Well, if it's going to save electricians' time, Joe, it must replace a traditional method. Yep. Traditionally, we take a piece of wood, create yep. ourselves a noggin between two uprights of a stud wall in order that we can fix a box. Absolutely. So obviously, you've got to get your bit of timber, you've got to measure up, and then you've got to cut it. Then you've probably got to cut it again to make sure it goes in. Uh, so hopefully, we're going to see that installing this will be quicker than that so okay with that in mind i think the only thing to do is you just start installing that and you give me a luxury head start i'm going to find a piece of wood there is a saw as well and we're going to position it somewhere between the two noggies at no height in particular i think okay. just to make it nice easy you ready yeah absolutely. let's start then okay so not overly familiar with installing these so right, okay. uh, i'm kind of feeling my way a little bit here so, so the old chestnut oh, is it is it measure twice cut three times is that the one slide and right, okay. bend there we go, we go so uh, we'll get this put on four and a half We've got all the kit, so you better hurry up. Are we worrying about specific heights? Here, no, Gary, no, not or? at all. I think it's all about the speed of process, not me bending down. Right. So that's that side in. Now we'll have a. We're going to have a closer look at actually installing this in a minute. What we're doing here is just having a look at the ease and speed of installation. I'm done. So am I. Uh, oh wow, that was rapid. Oh, nearly done. Nearly done. Yeah, just all the all, all the mess of fixing. Wow, you in. fixed it that quick. Yeah, absolutely. Let's take a closer look. So as always, Joe, you made that look incredibly easy. I'm going to have a demonstration on that, but you've got two brackets in front of you this time. Yeah, so Wallraven produced the rapid sliding wall bracket in two sizes. So we've got the shorter size here, which will uh, span gaps from 250 mil to 400 mil wide. Okay. Uh, that's uh, 10 inches to 16 inches, if you're listening from the past. Uh, and then we've got the larger size, which will cover spans from 400 to 600 mil, which is 16 inches to 24 inches. And that expands between measurements is yep. really important because it allows you to adjust for the joist uh, gaps? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, different different widths of both stud and joists as well. Okay, so will we have a demonstration? You're taking the shorter one? Yeah, absolutely. I'm so gonna we're going to install that here. I want to bring in hand cam. Okay, so what's the first thing you have to do then, Joe? So very simply, when you get the product, it looks like this. So you just give it a little bend there, uh, and that will just snap cleanly uh, along those pre uh, lines there, pre marked lines. And then it's just a matter of slotting the two end pieces together, and okay. they just slide in nice and easily like that. So yeah. one size is slightly uh, smaller than the other, so it just slips in really nice and easily. And could that move in and out quite simply? Yeah, absolutely. So you can uh, change that. You can. Oh, you right. can uh, change it so if you, you push it in too far it can come back out again right. which is oh, really, really good yeah. yeah what's next so then all you've got to do is just bend up that end there like that and then bend that end up like that as well and you can see i'm just just doing this with my bare hands this is not not very difficult to do and then we're going to look at putting this into uh, this gap here that we want to bridge uh, so what's quite nice about this is that uh, you've got a couple of different points here that this end piece will now really easily bend along so we could bend it along there or yep. we can bend it along there and that gives you different uh, fixing depths okay. which is really quite smart i'm going for the shallower one here because i want to get my uh, electrical accessory to the right depth so it's very simply just a matter of i think lining that up with the edge of the stud is the way i think that it's quite good to do yep and then just bend that Again, that looked easy. Against the stud, yeah, really nice and simple. And then it's just a matter of, of toshing that in. Now, again, I think it's probably easier to fix one end yeah. and then go and fix the other end. And you've got a couple of different places you could fix it. Yeah, so we've got uh, these four fixing points on the front. I'm just going to use two of those because I think that will be more than sufficient in this case. Yeah. And because I'm fixing it on the front here, I'm going to use nails with a, a nice shallow head on there so that it's not sticking out too far and distorting the plasterboard. Right. But you could, if you wanted to, fix it on the side here. So you can see you've got those two little holes there. Yeah. So you could screw through there into the side of the stud if, if you prefer to do it that way. Okay. So just a couple of nails on each side and you're going to be yep. fitted, aren't you? Absolutely. Again, could go for all four, but I think two is sufficient in this case. There we go. So that's one of those in. And then we'll just bosh the other one in, in the opposite corner. Okay. That will stick in there, like so, and then I'm just going to push this across to that side, slide that out, 
I'm sure it's level. <laughs> just uh, that up. There's no cutting of wood three times no. and finding it doesn't fit and <laughs> bowing it in, etc. I think it's quite good as well, just to give, once you've slid that out because it, it sort of bends off that way, just give it a little push ah, back right, in okay, the opposite direction again, just to get it really wedged in there. And then uh, you're going to just level it off with your eye, yeah? Yep, line it up there. Yeah. Give that a bend and then just make sure that we get that reasonably square because I've left my spirit level across the studio there. So okay, you've always got <laughs> eyes. Use your eyes. <laughs> yeah. gonna... Okay, so put that in there. And two more nails and that's it fitted. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll wash that one in. Get that in there and then just tease the other nail out of that. Okay. And wash that in that too. You can also use this on the metal stud. And that is the bracket installed. How about that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? Let's go back to the original joist idea. It doesn't quite fit, yeah. does it? It drops, etc. We're going to try and put nails and hold it into yeah. position. And, and as always, you know, I, I, I was doing that slowly to explain what was happening. You know, you think if you were doing that in a rush, I, seconds, I think that would take seconds. And of course, it's, it's installed now and you've got the option of fitting the box to it. Yes. How easy is that? Again, really nice and easily. Uh, so all we're going to do just here this camera is uh, just bring in the hand cam. Yep. So all we're going to do is just uh, line this up to obviously, you know, the, the right height and level and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and then we're just going to plunk a hole through the back here. Now we've been a bit naughty here, Gary. We're using uh, countersunk head screws on, on this box. Okay. Just thinking if one of your learners did that would be... Uh, yeah, cool. well there is round-headed screws as well. But yeah. that, wouldn't they? Yeah. <laughs> and it just protrudes slightly, doesn't it, from the actual uh, joist fixing point. So we've got yeah. a little bit there so the dry line wall yeah. uh, can be installed around that box. That's exactly that the seems idea. really easy as well. Yeah, again, that's just biting in through these uh, pre-drilled holes along the back. Uh, just screw that in there. And again, as you say, that's protruding slightly to make the life a little bit easier for the the borders and the skimmers when they come in. Just make sure I've got that level because my OCD won't let me do anything else. And just give that a little nip up and that is the job done. Well, that was easy. Okay, so there was no stage of that that was difficult. If you think back to the, the piece of wood we'd have to find on site, along with the saw that we'd have to find yeah. on site in order that we cut it, then we'd have to go and probably often find some more nails, a larger or screws, etc., in order to fit yeah. the nog in between two joists. I think we proved that that is considerably faster. Absolutely. And makes electrician's life easier. But yeah. it doesn't just use for box, though, is it? What else can we use it for? So this has been designed with other uses as well. So you could uh, fit this to uh, for installing pipe work, so maybe to support conduits dropping down inside yep. the wall okay. again bit of a perennial problem have you fixed the conduit in the center of a, uh, a wall drop there between studs so there's a great solution yeah, it for is. That. really really good and just just a little point as well something that that we noticed along the way is that actually you don't have to bend this in the direction that we did you can bend that flap the other way right which gives you slightly different uh, mounting depth options as well okay that's good and especially when you fit in pipes of different sizes etc exactly we always like products at efix that save electricians time and joe would you describe the product and suggest whether you think it saves electricians time? Well, that is the uh, Wall Raven Rapid Sliding Wall Bracket, and I think that that absolutely is going to save electricians time. And we like that at eFix.